Hello folks, Gary GSF and on our travels again today we're heading for Dunglo. Now I have done a video of Dunglo before because it's one of our favourite spots but uh, we're, we're on the go again. Look around, look at the winter wonderland. Um, now that's that's not snow, that's just a real tight frost. It's been like that for almost a week. Um, hasn't defrosted during the day. So got up into Dunglo right in the north of Donegal. It could be even worse than that. So I'm taking you along with me. Uh, let you have a look around. Uh, maybe get the drone up and uh, well, say well, you'll let, give you some sort of idea of Dunglo. One of our favourite spots. We we'll have. Uh, uh, we always have good times in it, so uh, onwards as I would say. And that is the Midway, that's our, our base for a couple of days, just on the main street of uh, Dunlow. As you can see, down the hill. Right, uh, this is room 12 in uh, the Midway. Um, as you can see, nice large bed, chair there. Tea and coffee making facilities. Your kettle, a bit of a, an excuse for a wardrobe, as you can see. <laughs> uh, well, because the room hasn't been occupied all weekend, uh, or all week, uh, it's quite cold in here, but I've put uh, an extra uh, oil filled radiator in there, along with the heating, so apparently it's on full blast, so we'll be alright in the next uh, half hour or so. Uh, bathroom. Just regular, exactly what you need for a BMB, uh, an electric shower. Yeah, fine. So uh, we've arrived in like what you wouldn't believe in weather. Have a look at that sky over there. It is going to chuck it down. It was chucking it down when we came in. Um, as you can see, sea view. <laughs> Not that it matters this time of year, but uh, we'll have a sea view. So, uh, uh, onward to uh, maybe a couple of hostelries and maybe a bite to eat or whatever, but uh, let's uh, move onward. Right, that is us back at the, the B&B, and uh, it's still cold. Now, when we came here, it was cold, so it was sort of forgivable. Uh, so give us a, a, an oil filled radiator to try and boost things on. But we were heading out so we switched that off. But we came back and the radiators are sort of warm-ish. Uh, the room is still bloody cold. Um, it's a real downside. Uh, this the is... Gone. Yeah, the heater's gone, yeah. We are... This is near enough to 8 o'clock in the evening. So you would have thought it would have warmed up before now. And you would have thought they would have had it warm before it was started. So not a good start to our first day. So let's hope that uh, when we go back we're going down the town to uh, have a glass or two. Enjoy the festivities. And uh, let's hope it's warm when we get back. But, but so far it has not been particularly warm. So uh, we'll see. We'll work it out as we go. But uh, at present... The heat is not uh, up up to what this the scratch. So uh, let let's let let's hope it'll be like that when uh, it'll be warm enough when we get back. Probably eleven or twelve o'clock at night. <laughs> this was one of our favourites here, uh, Beatty's Bar. Uh, we had such great nights in there. Still friendly with the owner, and thankfully he uh, he's actually uh, one of my subscribers on YouTube. A uh, boy called Dave. Really good to see him and. Uh, I have to give him a shout out. We're just, just uh, selfishly <laughs> stones when we got <laughs> Otherwise, we miss him. <laughs> right, that's us heading down to a place we've been before, the the Bridge Inn. Uh, great experience the last time we were there. It was, uh, I was, oh, chugging a diamond rain. It was February when I was chugging a diamond rain. And the bar manager came out and says, Do you want, us to, do you want me to give you a lift up? And we thought, No, God, it's only a short dander. But he, uh, he did, they gave us a good lift up to the, our B&B and, uh, well, we'll go down and say hello to him. He probably not remembers, but it doesn't really matter. That's not the, the, the part of it, but it's a good experience we had before. So, uh, <clears throat> there's the missus remind me to mind my step. <laughs> I, I'm not that much into my cameras that I wouldn't, uh, I don't want to fall down, especially not get it in camera, but uh, that's it, we're heading down to the bridge in. Right, this is the bridge in. Uh, I'll say the manager gave us a run, run home from the last time. Lovely place, just uh, down to the street to the left, just down there, 
is down to the shore. It's lovely, and this is a real nice pub and really, really well run. So uh, we'll go and see the the gaffer and all the team. So uh, we'll come back to you. Right, this is the inside of the bridge end. I have to keep talking because there's uh, music on, but uh, it's toasty warm in here. <laughs> we haven't, well, we're in Oni's, Oni's pub. We'll get a wee picture of that tomorrow, but Oni's is really nice. A lot of real locals in there and the crack has been good. But uh, now we're in uh, the bridge end and uh, it's absolutely toasty warm and it's a real nice place. And uh, I think we'll stay here for half an hour or so. Hey, we're in the Oni's bar just across the road from the hotel and there's no guessing uh, which football team is uh, is the favourite in here. Yeah, even that one. Got a, got, a, got a hint of Celtic as well but uh, <laughs> there's no doubt. One of us may, may just be a Liverpool bar. Okay well uh, that was a wee bit chilly last night but uh, we spoke to the proprietor uh, Paula, lovely, lovely girl uh, and just put it in another radiator <laughs> and even just after breakfast with that radiator in it was absolutely lovely and toasty when we came back up so all, all's uh, resolved and uh, to me the, the best gu guide for uh, an establishment is uh, how they re resolve uh, issues and that's totally resolved so uh, well, well have a nice toasty night in here t tonight uh, and uh, I say that everything's been resolved Okay, this is just 200 yards down from the the B and B, and this is just the, the shore and on and Dunlow. Uh, snow and ice is all gone. Uh, we had a bit of snow coming down, and the roads were were quite slushy, but uh, it's all gone. It's warmed up a wee bit, so maybe about four degrees. So uh, the dizzy height is six degrees so they centigrade. That's us back at the ranch and uh, another weekend, a good weekend up in Dunlow. Uh, if you, you see it written down, it's like Dunglow, but the, the G is silent. Um, well, they had the, the problem with the room being cold the first night, but we only had to mention it to uh, Paul. And Paul is the, is the proprietor of the place. Uh, put us an electric heater in uh, along with the heating in the hotel in the B and B, and the ring was well sorted. So, uh, uh, full marks to that. You know, when that's uh, to me, that's uh, the sign of a good establishment that uh, when there is an issue, they resolve it uh, very quickly. Um, in round the town was great. The only thing I haven't uh, I haven't covered in the, the this video was a breakfast, but the breakfast is really really good and, and uh, quite substantial. Uh, you'll not walk away hungry. Um, so let's see if I can remember rightly. It was three sausages, two bacon, two eggs, hash brown, beans, mushrooms. Then you had your toast and you have cereal if you wanted. So there was a, the, a, any God's amount of food. So uh, and it's uh, always very tasty. I so have stayed in other places in Dunlow as well, uh, and the breakfast is nowhere near as good. Uh, and I say uh, always a nice welcome from Paula. Um, 
and uh, to stay, would we stay again? Yes, we would stay again. One other thing I've noticed was uh, recently we stayed in uh, Trimmon County Mead in a, in a hotel there, and it was a bit chilly in the rooms as well. I just wonder maybe uh, that this time of year when the rooms are not occupied, they get really quite cold and it takes a long time to warm up. But uh, that's a discussion point if you want to put anything in down below. Thanks for watching this, and uh, if you if you feel the notion, you like, subscribe, uh, share, please do. It's always appreciated. And uh, for now, this is Gary GSF signing off. Until our next one, bye for now.